welcome back to the second video of VR Easy. In the previous step, we have uh, gone through the steps of installing the VR Easy uh, asset and give you some introduction why we came up with the idea of uh, VR Easy. In this step, we're going through the various windows of VR Easy. So first of all, we have three windows. We have the SDK checker. We'll go through all of them in a separate video, but we have a VR element and VR selector. We'll start up with VR element. Just click on it and we will have this window. We just drag and drop into on, on the right where we can have a nice view of all our windows. So first, we're going to explain what the options in our VR element uh, we are having and after that which each short tutorial will go through all of the functions and apply it directly in our scene that we see over here. First of all we have an element type, uh, select a VR element to create. We have a 2D button, 3D button, a display button, a trigger area and a slider. All very easy without any no, no programming uh, required. Very easy to create. We give this is the game object name. You just have to give, them, give it the name that you can easily recognize and it will appear in your hierarchy. The scale is the size of the icon it will create uh, is gonna be created. We have different states for the icons, an idle select and activate. As we discussed earlier, we have included some icons to get you started with. We have also included some meshes like a dome to build very easy in just a few clicks. Uh, a dome cinema for example uh, or you want to play a video on your dome with just clicking or pointing with your Gear VR, uh, cardboard, your oculus, anything that you that you want to use actually. Then we want to know we have here the type, the normal buttons maintain a position. So we have the option in a normal, sticky and billboard. That means that you have three options to how you want your icons to appear in sc uh, on screen. Then this is the core of VR Easy where we call everything that we want to do with a button. So you first you select the button, you give your icons, you give a name and then you say okay what do you want to do with the button? I want to activate an object, activate VR elements, load scene, move object, play animation, play audio, play particles, pop up, reset transform, that's for the Vive controllers that we're going and explain it as well how to set up your scene where you can grab for example an object and move it around with your Vibe controllers, send messages for playing or any actually anything that you can send, uh, control. A lot of stuff you can control, but we'll go through this on a later stage. Swap objects, speaks for itself, and switch is a combination of a lot of functionalities. Then once you, the, the nice thing about the system, you can have or stack as much as actions on top of each other as you want. So each can have, if I, I can add and remove, let's say if I say I want this one, this, add, the second one I want to load scene, let's say you build a trigger area and you say okay once I walk in that area I want this to be done, that to be done, that to be done. So you can add as much as you want, then we can add uh, sound for the buttons the selection and activation sounds and last add a button text that will appear below your button so you just type it in and then hit create it will uh, create a button that you can place uh, in your scene wherever you want it will uh, and then you can move it around and step by step we'll build this scene and explain all the functionalities uh, which you see in VR element, 
of course it's all a combination with the VR element and VR selector and the SDK checker is a very simple uh, button where you just trigger and activate more functions for the uh, Vive controllers. So uh, these are the options for VR element. In the next video we'll go and explain, well actually not, just we can very easily s explain what the VR selector as well. Let me bring that menu up. We have maybe this also here. In the VR selector we have a selector type, the side and a touch. So if we don't have any uh, HMD with a controller that you want to control with the site so you're just looking and then selecting uh, a menu or icon or in this case an action you want to, an action to be performed with the button that we create we just select the selector type to site and drag in our camera add selector site and it will add bunch of options to the main camera, if we go to the camera, you will see that we added a box collider because you always need a box collider in order to interact with your button. A rigid body for if we want to move around. A touch selector that we just just uh, added. Keyboard grab that's for later. You can have all the options to control uh, the the touch selector. I think we yes. And the main important thing is actually the side selector. We just added this one. The rest is added as well, so you can use the combination. You just drag in your crosshair. I will open up here. You see like a small dot, but we can control what is the crosshair depth. Just give it the depth is given smaller, and then if you you can play around with the with the crosshair size, and this is the active color and idle color of the uh, the crosshair that you want to be changed when you hover over a button. The selection distance is based how far do you want to select with the cursor so or the crosshair that speaks for itself and we can turn on and off the option. So uh, that's the VR selector. The same is for touch. If you have your touch controller, you just drag in your Steam controller camera prefab. Once you install the prefab for the Steam, just drag and drop, and then it's it's all really easy without programmers. And then it's it's ready to go, and you can grab things uh, and move things around. And we have the SDK checker, as I just mentioned. It's just once you imported your Steam VR uh, package, you can uh, hit. Well, actually, we don't need it. It just enables extra functionalities already built in. We just say, okay, I want to use that as well, and then we can uh, use more Steam VR functionalities within this app. It just enable it once we need it so that's why we created a separate window and that's all actually we have three windows the main two things are being done in VR element and VR selector this is only for when you actually only using the Steam VR so we can either move it here or remove it so hopefully it's a bit clear but it will be more clear actually once we start building our environment and building all the elements within uh, the scene. Um, hopefully it was a little bit as I'm repeating myself, but uh, I think enough talking and let's get started and let's create a nice interactive virtual reality uh, scene.